is a great example of the harms of testing. Um, when you don't know the indications for the test and you don't know what to do with the results. In this video, I mentioned I get referrals from a lot of folks for Factor V, and most of the time they are patients that are carriers of the Factor V Leiden gene mutation. And the question is, do we need to change our management based on them being a carrier of this gene mutation? And most of the time, the answer is no. When we first identified the Factor V Leiden gene mutation, that was very exciting because uh, this was in the era of um, new commercially available genetic testing. And what happened was a lot of this testing was done when we didn't really have a clear idea of what to do with the results. A lot of patients were put on blood thinner, which we now know was over treatment and has harms. Now we're having to walk back the use of this test and I see patients in my clinic all the time who have been carrying this diagnosis of factor V Leiden gene mutation um, and it impacts their ability to get surgery on time, uh, it, in fact, it impacts their ability to get um, life insurance, it impacts their health insurance rates because it's associated with an increased risk of blood clotting, but the risk is not high enough that we usually need to change our management of that individual patient just on the basis of being a carrier. In my opinion, this test should only be ordered by a hematologist, and that is because most of the time this test is not indicated. Uh, you can think of this as testing stewardship or genetic testing stewardship in particular. In reality, there are not enough hematologists, and so this testing is going to continue to mostly be done by primary care providers. Um, but I urge anybody uh, any ordering any test for any reason to be clear about what are the real indications and be clear about how the results should be managed. And ideally, for any genetic test, you counsel the patient before that test is even drawn. If it is positive, this is the implications for you. If it is negative, this is the implications for you. And if there's no difference in those implications, perhaps the test shouldn't be sent.